Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Morning Revival for today, week 1 day 6 in the Holy Word for Morning Revival on the topic of, Knowing, Experiencing, and Enjoying Christ as Revealed in Philippians. The title for today's sharing of enjoyment is, We Reject the Soul and Turn to Our Spirit Through Prayer, No Longer I But Christ. If you enjoy this article, do not forget to share it with your friends and also leave us a comment with what you have enjoyed. As believers in Christ, we need to reject the soul and turn to our spirit through prayer, for when we pray, we declare that it is not us but Christ. We need to realize that the way to follow the Lord is to reject our soul and turn to our spirit, the real denial of the self is prayer, for when we pray even by simply calling on the name of the Lord, we declare, no longer I but Christ. The secret to being a Christian is turning to the spirit. Living the Christian life is not about obeying some rules and regulations outwardly, it is about turning to our spirit. We need to turn to our spirit again and again. The mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. When we set our mind on the flesh, when our mind is set on the things not of the spirit, we remain in death. But when our mind is set on our spirit, when our mind is set on the things above, we enjoy life and peace. For us to follow the Lord and live in the reality of the body, we need to continually exercise to reject ourself and turn to our spirit. We believers in Christ do not only have an organ to contact God, our spirit, but we have a regenerated spirit, for the Lord is the spirit is one with our spirit. If we want to worship God, we need to exercise our spirit. If we want to enjoy the Lord's riches, we need to turn to our spirit. If we want to live in the reality of the body, we need to turn to our spirit. If we want to function in the New Testament ministry we must continually exercise to lose our soul life and turn to our spirit. Day by day we need to exercise our spirit, contact the Lord, and reject the self. We have a human spirit and dwelt by the Holy Spirit for us to receive God and contact God. We have a soul that is daily being renewed and saturated with God's life for us to live out and express God. May we learn not to allow our soul to indulge in the things of this world in order to enjoy them but deny its enjoyment in this age so that it may enjoy God as its happiness and amusement. When we exercise our spirit, we experience the life of the spirit and even the power of the spirit working in us and empowering us to live Christ and express him. And we will flow out this Christ who lives in us and is our enjoyment. Christ is our real enjoyment, amusement, and entertainment. When we turn to our spirit, reject the soul, and deny the self, we enjoy Christ in a real way. Our soul delights in God and magnifies God. He is our joy, amusement, and entertainment, and our soul is happy in the Lord. May we daily enjoy Christ as grace to us for our enjoyment and satisfaction. We need to reject the soul and turn to our spirit to follow the Lord and have His presence. As believers in Christ, we need to realize that Christ dwells in our spirit, but Satan is still linked to and dwells in our flesh. Anything that comes out of our self, the mind, the emotion, and the will of our fallen soul, is connected to Satan and to demons, Matthew 16 21-27. When Peter heard that the Lord was about to be killed by the Jewish people, he tried to hinder him from doing this. We could say that Peter had a natural good desire to help the Lord and stop him from dying, which can be considered something good. But the Lord said, Get behind me, Satan! You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. V. 23. The Lord considers anything that comes of our soul which is not renewed and transformed as being linked to Satan and the demons. Wow! In the Old Testament, Israel became evil because they were unchaste as the wife of Jehovah, Hosea 4 1. We need to realize that, once we forsake God, we too can do any kinds of evil, Ephesians 4 17-21. May we no longer walk as the Gentiles also do, in the vanity of their mind, rather, may we learn Christ, for indeed we have heard Him and have been taught in Him as the reality is in Jesus. We must realize that, if we do not remain in fellowship with God in our spirit, we lose God's presence and are capable of being in the flesh and of behaving like the worldly people, Phil. 2 1-2, 1 John 1 3, Ephesians 4 17-19, General 20, CF. 12 11 13 13 18. This is why we need to reject the soul with its desires and preferences and exercise to turn to our spirit, so that we may follow the Lord and have His presence. Anything that comes out of ourself is connected to Satan and to demons. In order for us to remain in fellowship with God in our spirit, we need to reject the soul and turn to our spirit. If we don't remain in fellowship with the Lord in spirit, even though we are believers in Christ, we lose God's presence and are capable of being in the flesh, just like the worldly people. We cannot afford to take a vacation from our fellowship with God in our spirit, for our protection is not ourself but God's presence. 1 John 1 3, PSA. 31 20. 
Again and again, we need to turn to our spirit. The way for us to follow the Lord, the way to spirituality and victory, is to reject our soul and turn to our spirit. The way to enjoy the Lord's riches is to reject our soul and turn to our spirit. The Lord has done everything for us, He has prepared an all-inclusive land, the all-inclusive Christ is the life-giving Spirit, and we simply need to turn to our spirit to enjoy Him. Before we do anything, we must turn to our spirit. In our spirit, we have rest and peace. But when we are not in our spirit, we will wander and be without rest. God has prepared Christ to be our rest and peace, and this rest is in our spirit. May we be diligent to enter into this rest by rejecting our soul and turning to our spirit. Before we fellowship with the saints, before we read the Bible, and even before we pray, we must turn to our spirit. We may plan to do this or that, go here or there, or speak to this or that person. Before we do anything, we need to learn to turn to our spirit. If we're not in our spirit, we will be in our soul, and in our soul we are connected to Satan, being capable of doing anything that the worldly people also do. O Lord! May we never take a vacation from our fellowship with God in our spirit. May we learn to turn to our spirit again and again to enjoy all that the Lord is to us in spirit. When we turn to our spirit, we have God's presence, for His presence is with us in our spirit. When we deny the self and enter into the spirit completely, we enjoy Christ as our everything. Lord Jesus, we choose to turn to our spirit. We do not want to take a vacation from our fellowship with God in our spirit. O Lord, we treasure your presence in our spirit. We want to remain in fellowship with God in spirit so that we may have God's instant presence with us. Amen. Lord, we reject the soul and turn to our spirit right now. We are not here for the soul's satisfaction or desires. We are here to live one with God so that Christ may live in us. Save us from doing anything apart from our fellowship with the Lord in spirit. We want to be diligent to enter into the rest in our spirit. May we be reminded again and again to turn to our spirit before doing anything and speaking anything. Amen. Lord, we are willing to learn to turn to our spirit and reject the soul so that we may follow the Lord and take the way of life. Prayer is the real denial of the self. When we pray, we declare no longer I but Christ. The Lord Jesus told us that, if we want to follow Him, we need to deny the self, lose our soul life, and take up our cross to follow Him. How do we deny the self? Can we put ourselves on the cross, or can we just reject and denigrate ourselves? Our self seems to be what we are by constitution, apart from the Lord. The real denial of the self is prayer. The only way for us to deal with the self and to deny the self is to pray. The only way to cast the demon of the self out is through prayer. Mark 9 shows us two matters, the transfiguration of the Lord on the mountain, and the casting out of a demon out of a young man. When the Lord was transfigured on the mountain, He was conversing with Moses and Elijah, the voice of the Father was heard from the heavens, This is my Son, the Beloved, hear Him. This was a response to Peter's suggestion that they should make three tents, one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for the Lord Jesus. The Father's response was, Just listen to Christ, He's the only one. Christ replaces the Law and the Prophets, He is the unique replacement of the entire Old Testament, for He fulfills the Law and the Prophets, and we should only hear Him. When they came off the mountain, there was a dispute between a man and the Lord's disciples, for the disciples could not cast out a demon from his son. They may have watched the Lord for years casting out demons, but they could not cast this demon out. The Lord came and cast the demon out, and everything was fine. To his disciples question, why were we not able to cast it out? The Lord answered, this kind cannot come out by any means, except prayer, Mark 9 29. Because we are short of prayer, our self is still so strong, and we are not able to deny it. Prayer is the real denial of the self. To pray means that we realize we are nothing and we can do nothing, so we come to the Lord in prayer. The way for us to reject our soul and turn to our spirit is to pray. To pray is declare, not I but Christ. To pray is to deny the self. To pray is to be charged with the heavenly divine electricity and put the enemy to shame, causing him to flee and suffer loss. The way for us to practice the revelation of Christ as our replacement is by applying the Lord's death to ourself through prayer. His death terminates us, and in His resurrection, Christ is brought to us. The way for us to cast out the demon of the temper for example is through prayer. We may not be able to deal with our temper, and we may lose our temper all the time when something is said or a situation comes in. How can we deal with our temper and deny the self? Only through prayer. This doesn't mean that we need to be on our knees all day long to pray, we do have to pray, but prayer is not just one kind of prayer, the one in our personal and private room before God. 
Actually, don't need to pray in a lengthy way, it is sufficient simply to call O Lord Jesus, even such a short prayer means no longer I but Christ, Romans 10 12-13, Galatians 2 20. The way for us to deny the self and cast out any demon that holds us down and hinders us from going on with the Lord, causing us to sin and fail, is to pray. Our prayer testifies that we do not exercise our self-effort to deal with the situation, instead, we apply Christ. We apply Him and we enjoy Him. We exercise our spirit to contact Him by calling on His name. We may have a particular situation we have to deal with, and the circumstances around us may be quite challenging. We simply need to turn to our spirit and pray. Our prayer testifies that we don't exercise our self-effort to deal with this situation but rather, we apply Christ. We apply Christ through prayer. To pray is to practice the vision concerning Christ with His death and resurrection being our replacement so that we may be fully Christified to satisfy the desire of God's heart, Mark 9 2-13. Lord Jesus, we want to learn to deny the self by prayer. O Lord Jesus, keep us calling on Your name to contact You in prayer so that the self may be denied. Amen, Lord, we declare that it is no longer I but Christ. We put ourselves aside. We reject our soul and turn to our spirit. Amen, Lord, we love you. We turn to you. We call on your name. We are not able to face the situation, we turn to our spirit. We are not able to deal with our temper, we simply turn to you in prayer. We are not able to deny the self, we exercise our spirit to pray and contact you. We do not exercise our self-effort to deal with this situation. We call on your name, O Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, live in us today. We don't want to live in the self to express the self. We don't want to live in the soul to fulfill its preferences and desires. Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus. Keep us turning to our spirit by calling on your name today.